ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣುರ್ ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರುಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವಸುದೇವಸುತ ದೇವಂ ಕಂಸಚಾಣೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಓಂ ಪಾರ್ಥಾಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣೇನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನಿ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಭಗವತೀಂಷ್ಟಾದಶಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭವದ್ವೇಷಿಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಿಶಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧೆ ಫುಲ್ಲಾರವಿಂದಾಯದ್ರ ಏನ ಭಾರತತೈಲಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಾಲಿತೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಪಾರಿಜಾತೇತ್ರೈಕಪಾಣೇ ಜ್ಞಾನಮುದ್ರಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಗೀತಾಮೃತದುಹೇ ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವೋಪನಿಷದೋ ಗಾವೋದೋಗ್ಧಾ ಗೋಪಾಲನಂದನ ಪಾರ್ಥೋ ವತ್ಸುಧೀರ್ಭೋಕ್ತ ದುಗ್ಧ ಗೀತಾಮೃತ ಮಹದ್ ವಸುದೇವಸುತ ದೇವಂ ಕಂಸಚಾಣೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಭೀಷ್ಮದ್ರೋಣತಟಾಜಯದ್ರಥಜಲಾಗಾಂಧಾರನೀಲೋಪಲ ಶಲ್ಯಗ್ರಾಹವತಿ ಕೃಪೇಣ ವಹನೀ ಕರ್ಣೇನ ವೇಲಾಕುಲ ಅಶ್ವತ್ಥಾಮಕರ್ಣಘೋರಮಕರ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನಾವರ್ತಿ ಸೋತ್ತೀರ್ನಾಲು ಪಾಂಡವೈರಣನದಿ ಕೈವರ್ತಕ ಕೇಶವ ಪಾರಾಶರ್ಯವಚಸ್ಸರೋಜಮಲ ಗೀತಾಗಂಧೋತ್ಕಟ ನಾನಾಖ್ಯಾನಕೇಸರ ಹರಿಕಥಾ ಸಂಬೋಧನಾಬೋಧಿತ 
लोके सज्जन षटपदरहर पेपीयन मुदा भूयाद्भारत पंकज कलीम प्रध्वंस न श्रेयसे मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तम वंदे परमाधव यं ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्ररुद्रमरतस्तुन्न दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद क्रमोपनिषदर्गा दिं साम ध्यानावस्थित तद्गतेन मनसा पश्यंती योगिनो यम न विदुसुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम ओम गुड मॉर्निंग एंड नमस्कार टू ऑल वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग श्रीमद भगवदगीता वी आर इन द नाइन्थ चैप्टर राज विद्या राज गुह्य योगम वी डिड द थ्री श्लोकास एंड वी स्टार्टेड विद द फोर्थ वन in the our last discussion will continue from the fourth one ninth chapter fourth shloka maya tatam idam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina matsthani sarvabhutani na chaham tesya vasthitah idam सर्वं जगत दिस इदम सर्व मीन दिस होल यूनिवर्स विच इज बीइंग विच अपीयर्स टू एवरीवन विच अपीयर्स टू मी विच अपीयर्स टू यू विच अपीयर्स टू अदर्स ऑल दिस सर्व जगत अव्यक्त मूर्ति ना माया सी अव्यक्त मूर्ति मींस व्यक्तम is something which you can see avyaktam means which you cannot see that is avyaktam <coughs> yeah sorry so sarvam jagat avyakta murtina mean which you cannot see right which you cannot see tatam it is inside out it's filled or covered okay sa sa sarva bhutani matsthani they all abide in me aham cha teshu na avasthita i do not abide in them or in other words i abide beyond this all what it means is that all this universe the whole universe that appears to you that appears to me that appears to every other species the devas the birds the plants etc this whole universe is pervaded by me it is inside out everywhere there is only me only me alone is there right so that is what ishavasya vidam sarvam yat kincha jagatyam jagat ishavasya vidam sarvam it is fully covered or this universe is uh, uh, dipped or immersed in me okay inside out ishavasya actually speaking it is not that this world there is a uh, names and forms separate right I say jadam and what we call it is jada and one is chaitanyam so there are no two things okay actually speaking that which appears as jadam appears as the names and forms is that one vastu alone only brahmam alone is there that is the meaning ishavasya vidam sarvam yatkinja jagatyam jagad same thing in narayana suktam we have learned narayana suktam where antar bahischa tat sarvam व्याप्य नारायण स्थित अंतर बहिश्च तत्सर्व ईज बीइंग ईज पर्वेडेड बै नारायण एलोन राइट एंड अदर उपनिषद से सर्व खल विदम ब्रह्म सर्व खल विदम ब्रह्म एव्रीथिंग इज ब्रह्म एलोन राइट नथिंग अदर दैन ब्रह्म देन पुरुष सूक्त सी ऑल दीज आर ऑल पॉइंटर्स पुरुष सूक्त से इज वॉट 
सभूमि विश्वतो वृत्वा अत्यतिष्ठदशांगुलम राइट ऑल इट कवर्स एंड एक्चुअली इट ओवरफ्लोस बाय दशांगुलम टेन इंचेस ओके सो दैट मींस इट्स इट्स मच 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 मोर पादो ओ सेविश्वाभूतानी त्रिपादस्यामृतम दिवी वी हैव लर्न्ड इन पुरुष सूक्तम राइट सो दिस यूनिवर्स दैट अपीयर्स टू अस इज बीइंग परवेडेड बाय मी अलोन ओके मी अलोन एंड देन द इन व्हाट इन व्हाट फॉर्म अव्यक्त मूर्तिना इन अनमैनिफेस्टेड फॉर्म unmanifested unmanifested means you cannot perceive you can't see you can't smell you can't taste right because why you can't taste because it is that which is behind all this or which is so sukshma so subtle that you cannot see smell taste uh, etc all five with the five sense organs you cannot do, you cannot uh, experience it you cannot experience it but you know it is there you know it is because of that chaitanyam we are able to speak we are able to talk we are able to taste smell touch etc okay so it is that the chaitanyam which makes everything else possible that is the reason why it cannot catch why the sense organs cannot catch it so so that is why bhagavan says tatam sorry sarva bhutani all the objects of this world whether it is moving whether it is not moving actually not moving is a wrong uh, way of understanding everything moves the only thing that does not move is only brahman it is the adhisthanam which is achalam everything else is moving that is why i said which appears to be not moving right but that also which appears to be not moving also moves and behind all the movement there is a mind so all the movements karma chalanam everything that is perceived by the five sense organs is moving okay is changing and only one thing that does not change is brahman alone that atma alone does not change does not undergo any reduction does not undergo any increase does not avyayam it is avyayam it is that alone is ever present that is you that is me that is everything here okay so but bhagavan says is that all this universe is pervaded me in my unmanifested form and all beings exist in me matsthani they all abide in me why they why why it says abide in me abide in me because if there is bodham if there is atma then the jagat appears if there is no consciousness you cannot perceive this world see see so suppose there is a torch right torch light you have got a battery there if there is no battery the the light will not work at all but you cannot see the battery with that light similarly all this which appears this all this is appears in me in consciousness in my consciousness okay when i say my consciousness if there is only one consciousness okay in that consciousness everything appears here this whole universe appears in consciousness that is why matsthani okay sarva bhutani matsani aham cha teshu na avasthita i do not abide in them okay i i am not there in them see it it's a uh, next verse also will be contradictory to this matsthan i am not there in that see like suppose there is an ocean ocean and you have got uh, the waves or the bubbles the bubbles and the waves are in the ocean right the waves the various uh, size waves they are in the ocean but the ocean is not in the waves in that angle we say that 
the mirage that appears right the mirage or the water that appears on a desert is it appears in the desert the desert does not appear in water okay that is how we have to understand this verse i uh, matsthani they all abide in me aham cha teshu na avasthita i do not abide in them vishnu sahasranam is very clear vishwam vishnu starting vishwam vishnu this whole universe is vishnu vishnu means that pervades everywhere that is vishnu word meaning is that which pervades everything here this whole vishwam vishnu that is vishwam vishnu so to see the whole vishwam as bhagavan is the highest spiritual experience see bhagavan everywhere and in everything that is the highest spiritual experience and that ex- to get that experience what we have to do is practice the same thing nothing else whatever you practice you become that so practice the same thing to have the same experience and the jagat jagat is what is the world world is that which appears as many we know that it is only appearing as many that which appears as many is one thing we look at the chaitanyam in the various objects we look at the chaitanyam alone we see only god in everything around us the good the bad okay so everything we see the chaitanyam that is the only way that is the only way to see oneness here that is the only way you can see oneness and through that oneness only we will be able to get rid of the raga and dvesha see there is a beautiful verse in tamil uh, some of you must have heard i will it is uh, by sage tirumular he has written and we will uh, i will explain it in english after reading the tamil மரத்தை மறைத்தது மாமத யானை மரத்தில் மறைந்தது மாமத யானை பரத்தை மறைத்தது பார் முதல் பூதம் பரத்தில் மறைந்தது பார் முதல் பூதமே ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் மரத்தை மறைத்தது மாமத யானை யானை மீன்ஸ் எலிஃபென்ட் see there is a small uh, story a father got a wooden elephant a wooden elephant small one for the child to play and the child the kid he was playing on that uh, you know the yani he was playing on that elephant at that time a carpenter came and uh, this carpenter he saw this elephant and he said oh very nice uh, uh, this is made in teak wood so very nice wood you have used he said so what happened here marathil maraindathu maamadayane marathai maraithathu maamadayane for the child the child did not see the wood there the child saw the elephant okay the child saw the elephant when the child saw the elephant the child could not see the wood whereas the carpenter carpenter did not see the elephant he saw the reality the carpenter saw the reality wood teak wood he said so similarly similarly we the children when we look at the world we saw the names and forms like the child saw the wood sorry saw the elephant we are seeing the names and forms and we judge them we miss the brahman we miss the brahman and next words parattai maraitadu paar mudal bhutam 
parate param means ultimate ultimate is brahman or god ishwara that is covered maraitade means it is obscured or it is hidden in par mudal bhutam that is all the five big elements pancha bhutam so this pancha bhutam covered the brahman and paratil maraindadu par mudal bhutame right so in that param in that brahman the all the bhutam the moment you see param the moment we see brahman the names and forms disappear they no more disturb us right we you remember the story of uh, the princess of kashi last class similarly even when they appear even after knowing this fact even when this appear as names and forms uh, they do not cause any disturbance because we are not the children we are like carpenter we see the brahmam alone here we see ishwara we see bhagavan in every names and forms this practice is what will make us think at all times ishwara that is the only way we can do this that is what bhagavan said sarva bhutani sarva bhutani matstani sarva bhutani na chaham te shwavasthita i am i am not there in them but they are all in me okay this is what the meaning we'll move to the next verse fifth verse again bhagavan repeats the same thing but just contradictory just contradictory to this nacha matsthani bhutani pashyame yoga maishwaram bhuta brahm nacha bhutastaha ममात्मा भूत भावन भूता मत्स्था न ऑल द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड ओके ऑल द नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स दे आर नॉट इन मी भूता मत्स्था न दे आर नॉट इन मी दे May Aishwaram Yogam Pashya. That we will explain later. Mama Atma, my true nature, Bhuta Bhavana, Bhuta Bhude, Bhuta Staha Nacha. I don't dwell in them. I don't dwell in them, and they are not. They are also not in me. all the beings okay all the beings all the objects the names and forms that we perceive with our sense organs they are apparently not in me they are not in me nor does myself dwell in them i am also not in them right but yet but yet i am the source i am the creator and the sustainer of all the beings so this appears to be contradictory earlier bhagavan what said bhagavan said that uh, <coughs> is pervaded by uh, pervaded all the universe is pervaded by me all beings exist in me bhagavan said right uh, they exist in me sarva bhutani matsthani they all abide in me here says no they don't abide in me see we have to understand from these two verses that it is not difficult to understand there is no contradiction it is to pass the clear idea it is to pass the perfect knowledge see you take the example of snake and rope okay when we see the snake on a rope when we see a snake when we see a snake there are no two different things right the there are no snake and a rope right there are no two things you can say that the rope is the cause for the snake to appear rope is the cause for the snake to appear but 
the moment we see a snake we don't see the rope but the moment when we know that it is a rope snake disappears then there is no more fear there is no more fear of the rope there is no increase in blood pressure or pulse rate etc is they cannot cause any disturbance because we know that it is a rope it is brahman alone here right so here we have to know that these things are not in me and they are not in uh, uh, i am not in them either that means when there is a light and darkness the darkness cannot exist in the presence of light there are no two things okay when the light when there is light there cannot be darkness when there is brahman once we know that there is only brahman alone exists there cannot be a jadam there cannot be names and names and uh, uh, forms similarly the snake disappears in the presence of rope and there is only rope alone exists then only one thing exists you cannot call it as a karanam also right when you say karanam there has to be when you say cause there has to be an effect when the effect does not exist then there is no cause also the cause is no more called as called as cause right that is why we don't say see we can say the milk and curd example if you take milk turns or converts into curd but once the milk has changed to curd milk is disappeared you can't see the milk there is only curd there that means the milk died the milk died and curd came so is it something like that the brahman converted itself as this jagat that means brahman is no more there it is not that it is not that way this vivartam we have to remember this is vivartam vivartam is without causing or without having any change without having any change without changing itself something else appearing on the cause is called vivartam without a slightest change in the rope when the rope appears as the snake as a snake is called vivartam okay and that which appears as the snake is rope alone so similarly the world that appears to our sense organs see it appears differently to humans the same brahman appears differently to a animal it totally differently appears to the sun or the moon or the other stars in the galaxies etc it appears differently to an ant the same brahman appears differently to a, a plant right because the rope the the rope appears differently to the different sense organs and we believe that this is the truth this is the reality the world is the reality the names and forms that appear to our eyes ears etc the way it smells taste we think that this is real which is wrong we have to understand this in our intellect and do contemplation think about it and we know that it is all these appear in consciousness everything appears in consciousness in bodham and that consciousness alone that awareness alone is god right and this god is not a matter matter is what which appears to our eyes ears etc and god is not a matter atma is not matter 
Atma is the subtler thing, even subtler than the space. The space is the we will any next words we will discuss more. So the subtlest, okay, the subtle thing, the most subtle is Brahman, and that is consciousness. It is not a matter. It is not a matter. So Atma is not a matter. So the perfect example is the snake and rope, where it is vivartam, as I explained, without causing or without having any change, something else that appears on the cause is called the vivartam, and that uh, it is the vivartam. So it is not like the parinamam, like the milk became a curd. It is not like that. It is something similar to a mirage, something similar to a mirage that appears. The water that appears on a desert. Similarly, the universe that appears in Brahman. So that is why Bhagavan says that I don't exist in them either, and they don't exist in me. So from this contradictory two statements from nine four and nine five. We, it is very clear. It is very clear that it is a vivartam. Okay, so the world is only an appearance. There are there is no hard thing out there. The world that appears as the names and forms with all the three D effect is no. It is not there. What is there is only consciousness. God alone is there, right? So when we then what about when I see in the morning, I see so many people, I see so many objects. They are all the consciousness. They appear in my consciousness. They are no different from consciousness. They only consciousness exist here. That alone exists, which is there in me. First, I realize that. It is the consciousness in my consciousness. My body appears, my mind appears, and with that, my mind and this body, I look at the various objects. They are also the same consciousness, only appearing as many. This is the only way to get rid of the raga dvesham, and by removing this raga dvesham, the samsara bandham is removed. Samsara dukham is hundred percent removed. Okay, so nacha matsthani bhutani pasya me yoga maishwaram. This is the yoga maishwaram. This is my divine yoga bhavam. What is the Bhagavan's yoga bhavam? That it is the Maya Shakti of this Bhagavan. It is the Maya Shakti because of that which appears as many, many. Okay, which appears as various objects. But it is me only. This is the yoga, yoga Aishwaram. This is that which appears as many. Okay, which makes it appear as many to the jivas. Okay, the jivas means you and me only, <coughs> and other uh, animals and plants and devas etc. All are jivas. To these jivas, where Bhagavan appears as many, is the divinity or is the yoga it is the yoga maishwaram it is the divine power my my power that is what that is why it is called a yoga vaibhavam okay that which that this is which is happening okay with this srishti pralayam all that what is srishti srishti is this appearance of this Appearance of this various objects is the srishti, and the disappearance of this various objects is pralaya, which is happening every night. When we go to sleep, it is a pralaya only, small pralaya. And when it becomes a long pralaya, we call it death. That's all. So every night, this mind disappears, this body disappears. Even all the thoughts disappear. Even the ahankara also disappear. All the kartrabhavam, everything disappears. This world completely disappears. Analyze this deep sleep state. And every morning when we get up, again srishti happens. 
So the srishti and then stays for some time and then disappears again. A small pralaya. So the srishti, sthiti and the samhara, this is the, it is only a thought. It happens only in the jiva bhava. It is only happens to the jiva. So all the srishti, sthiti, pralaya, etc. is the property or is the uh, jiva's imagination it is. It is the every jiva's imagination only. Whereas only the true real thing that exists is only Bhagavan. Okay. See, <coughs> there are only two experiences we can think of. One is the Brahma Anubhavam. Atma Anubhavam. Atma alone exists. Atma only can experience Atma. Okay. That is Atma Anubhavam or Brahma Anubhavam. Other is the experience of the delusion. By experiencing the various objects and thinking them as real, in this delusion, people think that these objects will give happiness and they possess, they think this is mine and I am this body because of that I have these positions etc. This is samsaram. This experience is the wrong experience. Okay? This is the wrong experience. So the experience of the delusion or experience of this illusion it, it is the experience of everything which people think that this is the real thing. Okay? Because of that, uh, the jivas suffer. Whereas, in consciousness, okay, in consciousness, all they appear like the movie, the, like a movie that happens on a screen and you are the screen, I am the screen, the screen is the consciousness. In that consciousness, the movie appears. When the movie appears on the screen, when you watch a movie, it covers the screen. Right? The things are moving here and there, the villain, the hero, all that is happening on the screen. We forget the screen and we believe that the movie is real. Similarly, in the consciousness a movie is going on where I am also an actor and all so many other characters and animals and plants similar to a dream. See when we take the dream example in a dream various uh, uh, objects are created a country uh, animals and um, I see myself also inside the dream and uh, we, and once we once we are awake from the dream we realize that all that I saw in my dream I all that I saw in the dream is my own production there is nothing other than a Swapna Darshi right the Swapna Darshi that example you take only to that extent Okay, all that appears in the dream is that Swapna Darshi alone, the person who saw the dream, he alone. That example you take. Similarly, in this Jagradavastha also, it is the mind's jiva's production. It is the jiva produces this, 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 then thinks that this is real, that is real, etc. Okay, and in Paramatma. Paramatma or the Bhagavan does not do anything. It is the Jiva's imagination that the Srishti. It is the Jiva's imagination. Bhagavan, Bhagavan, in Bhagavan there is no Srishti, there is no Pralaya, there is no Sthiti. Okay? God alone exists. When God alone exists, there cannot be any Srishti. When there is light, there cannot be darkness. There is no darkness. When in rope, rope doesn't have any fear. 
Okay, rope does not think that there is a snake. Rope has no problem with the snake because rope has there is no srishti of the snake for the rope. Similarly, in Brahman there is no srishti, there is no sthiti, there is no pralaya. It is only the imagination of the jiva. It is the sankalpa. We imagine things. We imagine srishti. We imagine that it stays for some time. We think that it is real. And we also think that it dies. Right? This includes this body. Body always comes along with the world. The body belongs to this world. So we think that this body is born and so and so date. And I am born. Instead of thinking the body came out. See, we, we don't know when before the body came out of the mother's womb it is there inside also. Right? And uh, it did not have any hands and legs etc. Before that also it was there. Okay? So, still we say that okay, this body is born and I am born. If you are born, definitely you will die. You means me also. If I think I am born, I will die. Jatasya Dhruva Mrityuhu Sure, one who is born will have death. So here in Bhagavan there is no Srishti, there is no Pralaya, there is no Sthiti. It is all the imagination of the Jiva. So the Jiva Bhavam itself is an imagination. Is it not? Even the Jiva Bhavam is an imagination. The time is the imagination. We all discussed in our previous discussions about time. Right? So this is, that is the reason to make this point very clear, Bhagavan says that I am not in them and they are not in me. And the previous, he just said the opposite, all beings are in me. Here it says all beings are not in me. There is no contradiction here. This is to make sure that there are no two things here. There is only one thing, only God alone exists. That is the reason. Bhagavan uh, says and this this is the Vaibhavam of Bhagavan this is the Ishwara uh, Yoga Maishwaram this is the Yoga Maishwaram then one more Bhuta Brit and Bhuta Bhavanaha right Bhuta Bhavanaha Bhuta all beings are imagined okay this is the correct word Bhuta Bhavanaha means all beings appear in me but who in whom who, who it appears to whom? It is not appearing to Bhagavan. Okay. It appears or imagined by the jivas. Okay, so that means it is the ignorance of the jiva to imagine things. Okay, that is Bhuta Bhavanaha, Bhuta Brid. Bhuta Brid means all these objects. There is see, you know that it, there is a law of karma is there. That is a, there is a rutam. We call this rutancha swadhyaya pravacha necha rutam. The Sanskrit rutam is same as English rutam. There is a rutam here. There is a perfect rule. Okay. See the the earth rotates on its own axis and the earth rotates around the sun and the universe is expanding, the galaxies are there, the planets are rotating around the sun, etc. You know. Is it that uh, every day morning, uh, every day morning we see the sun rising in the east and sun sets in the west, right? If you look at through the window, you can see the sun. Now that one day you can see here, one day you can see somewhere else. That means the whole orientation is gone. It doesn't happen that way, is it not? If you have a clock every 24 hours, you will see the sun, the sun is rising. So there is a perfect rhythm here, is it not? The heat flows from the hot to cold. If you throw an apple, that one time you throw, it comes down and one time it goes away. No. Every time you drop something, it falls to the ground. It falls towards the earth. There is a perfect rhythm here. Everything happens as per the law of karma. As per the prakriti. There is a law here. And Bhagavan says, In me all this happens perfect 
ओके दैट इज भूत ब्रत भूत भावना भूत ब्रत सी विष्णु सहस्रनाम दोस्ट दे नो दट भूत ब्रत भूत ब्रत विश्व विष्णुर्वषटकारो भूत भव्य भवत् प्रभु भूत ब्रत भूत भृत भाव भूतात्मा भूत भावना राइट सो वॉट एवर से भूत ब्रत भूत भावना इट इज द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ द जीवास दैट दे अपियर एंड All that is happening, even when that is all this happening and appearing and things like that, it has got a perfect rhythm, and it is I control this. Bhagwan says, I control. Control means in me all this happens naturally. It happens as per the law of karma. And I am the creator and sustainer of all beings. We'll move to the next verse. Nine six. Yatha ka sasthito nityam vayu sarvatra go mahan yatha sarvani bhutani matsthani tupadharaya. This matsthani is coming, I think, three times already. Nine four, nine five, etc. Matsthani. यथाकाशस्थितो नित्यम् वायु सर्वत्र गो महान यथा सर्वाणि भूतानि मत्स्थानि त्युपधारया महान हियर महान मीन दैट विच परवेड्स एवरीवेयर महान सर्वत्र गा विच कैन बी मूड विच कैन विच कैन मूव एनीवेयर एंड एवरीवेयर सर्वत्र गा वायु हु एयर यथा नित्यम आकाश स्थित ओके सिमिलर टू स्पेस विच इज नॉट मूविंग बट एयर इज मूविंग तथा सर्वाणि भूतानी सिमिलरली ऑल बीइंग्स मत्स्थानी इति उपधारया दे ऑल एबाइड इन मी नो दिस लाइक आका लाइक द वायु दैट मूव्स इन द आकाश meaning is this know that just as the wind the mighty mahan wind moves about everywhere while always remaining in space <coughs> so do all creatures remain in me it's a beautiful verse this gives a clarity this gives a perfect clarity we will explain this we know that the if you take earth okay earth or the solid thing okay earth it does not move right you just put it there it remains there and the next is water it can flow there is more movement is possible it is little more fluidity is there and fire it has got more similarly earth is sthulam it is uh, more grass and that grossness reduces it becomes little more subtle when it becomes water and more subtle when it becomes fire and it is more when it is air so up to this we are very clear because you can feel the air but you cannot see the air you cannot see the air you can feel the air you cannot taste the air but if you take fire you can feel fire and you can also see fire okay and when it goes to uh, water you can see you can feel water you can taste also you can taste water and when it is earth all five are possible you can you can hear the noise when the earth is falling you can see that gudu gudu sound is there you can uh, smell that is the unique property of uh, earth 
सो ऑल फाइव शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंध ऑल फाइव आर पॉसिबल इन अर्थ बट वेन इट कम्स टू एयर ओनली यू कैन हियर एंड यू कैन फील बट वेन इट कम्स टू स्पेस यू कैन नेवर नो ऑफ स्पेस एक्सेप्ट फॉर द साउंड so the unique property of the space is only sound and you know that space is there everywhere right space is everywhere in space which is not moving okay which is always there and which is there everywhere all pervading space how the air is moving right air can go anywhere in this space air is moving but space is unmoving space is not moving at all right the way it appears to us the space is not moving at all and in that space the air can move everywhere but even when the air is moving the impurities of the air cannot touch space the space is ever pure the air cannot uh, dirty the space it is amalam akasham is amalam it cannot uh, uh, make it impure it cannot touch the space whereas it can move the air can move everywhere right similarly what bhagavan says यथा आकाश स्थितो नित्यम इट इज नॉट मूविंग अट ऑल इट इज सिमिलर टू द स्पेस विच इज नॉट मूविंग बट द एयर इज मूविंग एवरीवेयर यथा आकाश स्थितो नित्यम वायु सर्वदतो महान द ग्रेट महान वायु विच कैन गो एवरीवेयर विच कैन मूव एंड एंटर एवरीवेयर राइट यथा सर्वाणि भूतानि तथा सर्वाणि भूतानि सॉरी तथा सर्वाणि भूतानि सिमिलरली ओके सिमिलरली सर्वाणि भूतानि मींस ऑल द बीइंग्स द ह्यूमंस एनिमल्स प्लांट्स एवरीथिंग इवन द रिवर्स एंड द सेलेस्टियल्स द सन द मून ओके एवरीथिंग मूव्स इन मी okay and i am not moving at all right yatha sarvani bhutani matsthani tyupadharaya no this way how the space is achalam space is not moving space is there everywhere okay and it is akhandam the space is not cut the space is everywhere in that space how the air moves everywhere similarly okay no this way because there is no other example cannot be given you know very difficult to give very difficult to pass the knowledge so this is the best example we can we can think of akasham is the perfect example which we can take uh, to uh, brahmam akasham is everywhere is there and it is not moving similarly i am that brahman i am that adhisthanam where all that movement is happening every movement that happens in me and i am that god i am god i am atma i am brahman and you are also same i am also same all beings here all the plants the animals everything is sarvam brahmamayam sarvam brahmam alone all our consciousness everything is consciousness so <clears throat> if you if you analyze a piece of earth okay a grain a sand grain from vivekananda said if you analyze a grain it will end in space you will know that it is space alone is there you divide you make it powder and powder and powder and powder okay you go deeper and deeper it will end in space only that is why shruti says akasha vayuhu 
वायोरग्नि अग्नेप अद्य पृथिवी पृथिव्या ओषधय लाइक दैट आकाशा वायु फ्रॉम द स्पेस वायु इज क्रिएटेड एयर इज क्रिएटेड वायु रग्नि फ्रॉम वायु फायर इज क्रिएटेड अग्नेप फ्रॉम फायर वाटर इज क्रिएटेड अद्य पृथिवी सो दिस फाइव बिग एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द वाटर अर्थ इज क्रिएटेड so all this akasham vayu akashat vayu so where it will merge in fire sorry in air air merges in space fire merges in air water merges in fire prithvi the earth merges in water because it came from there so if at all if you take the reverse direction everything merges in space alone and we know that even the signs also right even the, what the sign says from the space everything has come is it not so yet aakasha sthita so everything ends in space all the five big elements they are they came from space alone space alone exist and where is this space located prithvi merges in water water merges in fire fire merges in air air merges in space what about space the space appears in consciousness okay tasmadva etasmad atmana akasha sambhutah taitri upanishad तस्माद् वा आत्मन आकाश संबुदा ये तस्माद् आत्मन आकाश संबुदा इन दिस आत्मा स्पेस अपीयर्ड ओके स्पेस क्रिएटेड मीन स्पेस अपीयर्स इन कॉन्शियसनेस देन आकाश और वायु हो वायु और अग्नि ही लाइक दैट सो इन कॉन्शियसनेस यू यू लुक एट यू वी वी इफ यू लुक एट आवर ओन एक्सपीरियंस राइट there is a, a story where a, a big great uh, mahan was uh, he was talking to a vedanti so he said uh, can you explain what is atma he said yes no, very simple you what do you see in front of you he said is a lot beautiful garden i can see and in what background you are seeing the garden he says i can see it in the background of a mountain okay you see the mountain yes where do you see the mountain which which background he says there is a lot of clouds behind that in the background of clouds i see this mountain okay where do you see the whole thing in what background he said i can see all this in the background of space okay then where is this space in which background you are seeing this space then the vedantin said the whole space everything appears in my consciousness in consciousness the whole thing appears is it not is it not our true anubhavam it is our true experience in consciousness everything appears right this prithvi this this the the space right which you cannot see that also appears in consciousness so that is why the parama karanam is atma that is the ultimate cause of this universe is atma that is in the first itself tasmadva etasmad atmana akasha sambhutah everything is an appearance in consciousness that one we realize this in us and then we know that it is the same for all beings here okay so yatha akasha sthito nityam vayu sarvagato mahan tatha sarvani bhutani matsthani tyupadharaya matsthani here abide in me me 
when krishna says me it is atma brahman he talks as himself as brahman matsthani so third time he is using matsthani ityupadharaya okay seven onwards we will uh, discuss in our uh, next session Om Purnamad Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Om Harihi Om Tatsat Brahmat Pranamastu